what I'd like to do is to talk about what Axonobel's basic sustainability strategy is very briefly, uh, tell you a little bit about who Axonobel is, for those who don't know, and then I'm going to talk to you about three components of our sustainability strategy just to give you a flavor. So uh, I picked uh, as one of the components product safety because I thought that might be of some interest to people in the audience. And then I'm also going to um, talk very briefly about product innovation relative to sustainability. And then last but not least, the uh, really important issue of collaboration. So the starting point for our sustainability strategy is, of course, the customers. And these are the four major areas that we are actually in. And what we try to do is to look at global trends and uh, that would impact our customers and then translate those into uh, market segments and what each market segment really needs to look forward to and how we can uh, basically push our sustainability uh, strategy in each of these four areas. And again, not to sound like a broken record, no matter which market area we're in, whether it's building and infrastructure, transport, consumer goods or industrial, we're pushing doing more with less. So what's another part of our um, sustainability strategy and platform? And, and I picked this one specifically because of the subjects that are, going, that are being discussed here in the next, last few days. And that is our HSE common platform, which is part of the sustainability platform. And there's three types of uh, safety here we're talking about. People safety, process safety, and product safety. Uh, these all come together and form a very important part of our overall sustainability program. Uh, our priority substance management program uh, is, I'll talk about that in a minute. It's something, uh, well, we've been working many years you know, on REACH projects. We've done many, many substances, many risk assessments under REACH. So then we decided, why don't we look at everything that we either use or make? and let's take it down the same path. So our priority substance project basically is looking at every substance we actually purchase or make, and we score them uh, for health effects, human health effects, environmental effects, and also substances of public concern. And if they score above a certain number, then we either decide to uh, eliminate the substance from the portfolio, uh, or we do basically a full reach risk assessment. And this is for all the businesses in all the countries. The other thing I mentioned was this, was this uh, Piscuit tool. Uh, this is a, a tool designed to make sure that each business gets better and better in product stewardship. So it starts out by scoring the business in uh, these 90 different areas. We give them a score. And, and then every year, we expect them to submit to us an improvement plan so that the scores, which range from one to 10, the idea being ideally we'd like to have all the businesses at score 10 for each of the 90 areas. Some of the businesses in some areas are at two or four or nine, but the idea is every year they put together their improvement plan to raise the scores and uh, we'd like to see them all over eights for every, each of the 90, 90 points. Quickly, let's talk about a second major area in our strategy, and that is innovation. And it's, uh, we're spending more and more time on trying to uh, develop brand new products that will set us, set us apart and actually show that um, we're really serious about, about our sustainability program. So the last item I'll talk about real quickly is this whole idea about collaboration. And Collaboration, uh, to me, in my experiences with a lot of projects we've worked on, uh, is really important because it helps to develop trust. And it helps to really uh, develop relationships with people, your customers, your suppliers, or government agencies, for that matter. Uh, within our company, uh, it's, I think, a pretty true statement to say that sustainability is business, and business is sustainable. Uh, we really believe that industry must, must uh, do a lot more to make sure that we get more value from, than we are now from our limited resources. Uh, we have a number of take actions we're taking to do that. 
Uh, we also firmly believe that uh, we can't do it on our own. A company cannot do it on its own. It has to collaborate and work with other companies, suppliers, um, government agencies when needed, and also uh, customers in a very uh, transparent way. And when successes are reached, to uh, share those tr successes, whether they're new testing approaches or uh, new ways of looking at things, which we didn't look at uh, before. And again, uh, as echoed by our executive committee, uh, it's firmly believed within Axon Bell that sustainability is really a major business driver. Thank you.